Don't just jump right into the recipe. Adhere to the principles of mise en place. Mise en place is French for everything in its place. What we have here is a fully readied, prepped set of ingredients for our twice cooked shrimp recipe. Note that the counter is all cleaned off. We're ready to go with each of the individual ingredients. And when you're prepping vegetables, make sure that you have some kind of uh, trash vessel on the table, whether it's a bowl or a small uh, bin with a, a, a bag as a liner inside. You need that on your, on your surface so that you're not throwing things all over the counter. So if I'm pulling these tops off, for instance, I want these tops to go here and I want this bowl out of my place so now I can begin peeling my carrots. And cook to suit your mood, not your cravings. Make sure that you're selecting a recipe where you're taking a look at the cook time and the prep time so that you're cooking something that you're going to enjoy preparing. For instance, this quick shrimp recipe can be done in just a few minutes and you're not diving into a two hour project. In professional kitchens, chefs put their mise en place in places where they can grab it without even looking. So uh, in a professional kitchen, I might have my salt there, but I'm working on the food right there. So if I'm grabbing my salt, I can do it like this, just blindly without even looking. Now you might not be that good yourself at home, but what you should do is really, really focus on flow. You don't want any traffic in the way. If it's not part of the recipe, get it out of the way. So in this case, we're not working on the carrots at all. So we're gonna move that stuff out of the way. Now this might look like neat mise en place, but it's not laid out in the order that you're actually going to cook in. So what I would do in this instance is I would actually rotate my cutting board so that I can have this lengthwise, right? And I'll put my canola oil spray right here, put my shrimp there, thereafter. The items that are gonna come later in the recipe, I'll get out of my way immediately so that all I have are the things that I'm starting with. Then when it comes time to cook and I'm done with these, I'll get those items out of my way and bring these items into view. Now it might seem like a lot to do to make a recipe successful, but you'll be able to spend the maximum amount of time focusing on your pan and not the cleanup around you while you're working. Now listen, I'm burning these onions. Multitasking is not possible. The human brain, folks, it's a single processor. So you have to do one type of activity at a time. Now why I might look like I was getting some work done for the day, having some onions cooking in a pan, peeling my carrots and getting some stuff and I'm working relatively organized. The pan, the stuff I'm cooking is being destroyed in the process. If I'm going to be cooking, I can have four, four or five pans going at the same time, but I would want to be primarily regulating heat. So what's the task in that moment? Regulating heat, paying attention to pans. If I'm working on prep, it's prep and nothing but prep. If I'm doing email, have everything off. It's super important when you're cooking for things to come out really precise to be paying attention to what you're doing one major task at a time. And folks, if you think cooking is a chore, then don't cook. Invite someone over who loves to cook and you can go out and buy the wine. To make a great meal, you have to be one with what's going on. You really have to be interested, you have to be engaged, you have to love playing with food. If you don't love playing with food, it's okay. Like I said, just bring the wine. So there's this thing about mise en place. It's actually the most important culinary principle there is. So adhere to it. And when things get out of hand, it's okay. Just square up a little bit. It'll make cleanup easier. You'll, you'll be a more organized, more effective cook. And, and I promise you, you'll throw way better dinner parties and you'll enjoy them more. You'll find out everything you need to know about mise en place. And I promise probably a little bit more in my book, Mad Delicious.